A family's life is upended in India when their 13-year-old daughter is the victim of a brutal gang rape. Her father's decision to support her is relentless and a rare occurrence within their culture. His fight for justice and the family's path toward healing is the subject of an Academy Award-nominated documentary, To Kill a Tiger. I got a chance to talk with the director, Nisha Pahuja, to talk about the serious issues spotlighted in this film, which she hopes will prompt real change. Now, you originally set out to create a different movie about masculinity. Yeah. So how did this actual movie that you ultimately captured come into fruition? Yeah. So I, I was I was following the work. There's an NGO that's in this film, in To Kill a Tiger. And that NGO, I was following the work of the NGO. And they were they were running a gender sensitization program across the state of, of Jharkhand. And, um, uh, and one of the men who was enrolled in this gender sensitization program was Ranjit, who's, who's the father of the film. And that's that's how I met that's how I met him. It's been reported widely that there's a rape every 20 minutes in India. Less than 30% are actually prosecuted. Do you feel that this film might have the impact to change that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, without, without a doubt. The issue of sexual violence and the issue of rape, um, it isn't exclusive to India. You know? It's actually a global and, and it's a universal, it's a universal problem. So for, for me, the importance of the film and the impact that I think this film can have is, is actually globally. <laughs> You know, the Toronto Film Festival, the jury statement was really impactful in that it talked about how it's not easy to film love. And in some ways, this, this really is a love story from a father to, to his daughter. How were you able to, to capture that so eloquently? Yeah, that's so beautiful. I mean, th there was no effort on my part. It just was the truth, you know? It just is something that exists between them, this really, really special bond. The first time we interviewed him, when he, when he tells that story about how when his wife was pregnant, he really wanted it to be a girl. And that is so rare for India, you know? I mean, nobody wants a daughter, right? You always want your firstborn to be a son. And, and so the fact that he wanted a girl I knew then that this was a really, this was an unusual and a really special human being. How did you end up incorporating Kieran into this? Because initially you were just going to do the whole story without her. Well, in, initially we were, she was going to be a much smaller part of, of the film and we were going to um, obscure her identity. And you know, in some way, the fact that the film took eight years to make was, it was almost like it was meant to happen that way because by the time we were finished, she'd become an adult mm. and she could actually um, decide whether she wanted to be seen or not. And, and she chose to be seen. So many of the people here, and not to take anything away, but what they are creating is strictly for entertainment purposes. How does it make you feel to create something that really can change the world for the better? Oh, thank you for saying that. Um, yeah, I, I think, you know, for me, it is without a doubt the reason I became a documentary filmmaker. Mm. It was really clear for, for me, especially as we were editing, that this particular film just had the power to galvanize. You know? And it would encourage other survivors to come forward to seek justice. And it would, I think, encourage men to understand that women's rights are really human rights. Mm. And, and it's important for them to, to fight alongside with us. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.